Scott, thanks very much. We are looking at some changing weather coming our way. Tower cam shows showers already beginning to build in inland areas. Those showers are producing some lightning pops as well, and we'll continue to watch that occur as we head through the afternoon. Taking a look at our current air temperature, 85 degrees. We have a dew point value coming in at 73. Plenty of sunshine in places where the clouds are not thick, with a feels like temperature now at 92. But in some places, we're seeing some pretty good coverage of thunderstorms. Along the coastline by 3 p.m., I think we'll only have a 30% chance of showers. Showers will have by that point moved into inland areas where the chances of rain will probably be close to 50 to 60%. Uh, by 7 p.m., I think everybody will start winding down and we'll be left with a pretty quiet overnight. The showers and thunderstorms are building along a line that continues all the way down the coastline. These showers and thunderstorms, as I mentioned, are producing some fairly heavy rainfall because they're relatively slow movers. Heaviest of the stuff is down around Northport and then along 41 back toward Venice. These showers and thunderstorms are also accompanied by non-thunderstorm showers that are located along 75 in Manatee County. I think we'll see more and more of that occurring over the course of the next few hours in inland locations. So we don't have a whole lot of cloud cover in Gulf waters in the near Atlantic down in the Caribbean. Tropically, things are pretty quiet right now, and there's really no reason to expect any problems for the next five days, probably. Although we may see some development possibly with this cluster of clouds that was barreled just off the coast. But even if it did, it's moving out into the Atlantic and it wouldn't have long before it just totally falls apart. For boaters today, west wind comes in at about five knots. Be a nice day for boating. You'll have smooth conditions out there on bay and inland waters with seas running two feet or less. And I think that might be the case through a lot of the weekend as well. 92 today, tomorrow about the same 30% chance of rain and the shower pattern is pretty much the same. First along the coastline, then inland as we head into the afternoon and the sea breeze builds. Sunday, maybe slightly less rainfall. And then as we head into next week, I think we'll be able to up the rain chances just a little bit. Scott?